Hello, in the previous video, we had seen about web app integration in Cyborg Adaptive. In this video, we'll be seeing about RADIUS. RADIUS stands for Remote Authentication Dial-in User Service. It is a client-server networking protocol that runs in the application layer. The RADIUS protocol uses a RADIUS client and a RADIUS server. The RADIUS client is a networking device like a VPN connector, router or a switch that is used to authenticate users. A RADIUS server is a background process that runs on a Unix or a Windows server. It lets you maintain user profiles in a central database. Hence, if you have a RADIUS server, you have control over who can connect with your network. The working of RADIUS server depends on exact nature of the RADIUS ecosystem. However, all servers have the AAA capabilities that is, authentication, authorization and accounting. In some RADIUS ecosystems, a RADIUS server can also act as a proxy client to other RADIUS servers. Now let us see the basic working of RADIUS. A RADIUS client tries to authenticate to the RADIUS server using user credentials. The client sends an access request message comprising of a shared secret and user credential in encrypted form to the RADIUS server. The RADIUS server reads the shared secret and ensures that the access request message is from an authorized client. If the client is authorized, the RADIUS server reads the authentication method requested. If the authentication method used is allowed, then the RADIUS server checks the credentials against the user database. If there is a matching policy, the RADIUS server sends an access accept message to the device. The access accept message consists of a shared secret. If the shared secret does not match, the RADIUS client rejects the message. If the shared secret matches, the client reads the value of the filter ID attribute. The filter ID is a string of text. The RADIUS client connects to the user to a particular RADIUS group using this filter ID. A RADIUS group is a group of users who have the same filter ID value. Practically, a RADIUS group makes it easier to categorize users in functional groups like sales, networking, HR, IT, etc. The user is finally authenticated and authorized and will obtain access to the RADIUS client. If the user credentials do not match, then the server sends an access re reject message. The RADIUS transaction ends and the user is denied access to the system. RADIUS uses various protocols like PAP, that is Password Authentication Protocol. In this protocol, the password is not sent as a plain text but is obfuscated using a special secret word configure configured. Then is CHAP, that is Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol, which is much more secure protocol. It uses a salted password hashing which means that the password is processed along with a random, random string and then hashed. Then is the MS CHAP or the MS CHAP version 2, which are the Microsoft variants of CHAP protocol that try to upgrade the weaknesses present in CHAP. It uses better salting and hashing techniques in order to make transferring passwords more secure. Now we'll be seeing how to configure RADIUS in Adaptive. In order to do that, log in into the admin portal of Adaptive. From the left wing, scroll down to Settings and under that, Network. Here we can see the Adaptive con connector that we had configured. Click on this and under Radius, enable the incoming Radius connections. You can set the Radius port according to your wish or let it be the default 1812. And enable the connections to external server Radius, Radius server also. Now click on save and the connector host is updated. Now under settings go to authentication. Here under radius connections you can configure the radius client and radius servers. 
In order to configure the radius client, click on the add button and specify the name of the radius client. And write its description as well as the client hostname or the IP address. Provide the client secret and under the response, you can set the reply language or the wait timeout and other mechanism response options. Then click on save. Under the servers, we are going to configure the radius, con radius server. So click on servers and click on the add button. Provide the name of the server. And write its description. Write the server hostname or the IP address. And provide the port or let it be the default one of 1812. Provide the server secret. You can also set the receive timeout. By default, it is 5 seconds. Then click on save button. The radius server is configured. Now we need to set the policy for radius. For that, go to core services and under that policies. We'll be creating a new policy set. For that, click on add policy set and name the policy. I'll be naming it as radius and giving a description of radius policy. Now under user security policies, go to radius. Here, allow the radius client connections. For that, click on yes and check box the user require authentication challenge. Now, set the default authentication profile. You can add a new profile or select from the default pro profiles provided. You can also add a certain rule, authentication rule. For that, click on add. The uh, authentication rule means that certain users will be asked to provide a different authentication. Now we'll see how to do that. So click on radius client and select the radius client for which you want the authentication rules. Now add a filter. Say we add a filter of IP address with the condition outside corporate IP range and click on add. So now this means that the users with the IP address outside the corporate IP range need to pro provide an authentication, an extra authentication. For that, we'll now configure the authentication profile. So click on this drop box and so you can select a new, uh, the default authentication profiles or add a new profile. And then click on, we can also click on the view profile button and see what this profile is configured. Click on done and click on OK button. Once all these changes have been made, click on the save button in order to save the policy. Now you can push the policy so that all the users and devices will be applied with this policy. So Radius offers businesses with the ability to preserve the privacy and security of their system and their users, thus helping in security management and in creating policies for the server administration. So this was how the Radius is configured in CyberArk Adaptive. In the next video, we'll be seeing about provisioning in Adaptive. Thank you.